Welcome to the Scranton Public Library's tutorial on Transparent Language Online. It is an e-resource here at the Lackawanna County Library System. To find this, you will go to our website at lcls.home.org. From the main page, you will click on Books and More, and this will bring up all of our e-resources in organized categories. To view all of the e-resources, you will click on All e-resources, and it will be in alphabetical order. To find Transparent Language Online, we will go to Learning Resources and scroll down. Our description has whether you're a true language learning beginner, dusting off your old high school Spanish, or eager to tackle your 10th language, Transparent Language Online will help you get started and stick with it. You will then click Visit Site to go to the database. Because it does require you to have a login, I have already done this. So this will be what the screen looks like once you do create a login and log in. From here, you can click on the American flag icon on the main menu to change the interface to a different language if your native language is not English. They have Arabic, Danish, Spanish, French, French Canadian, Korean, Portuguese, and Turkish. The languages that you can choose to learn span the globe, so they range from Afrikaans to Ojibwe to Swahili to Icelandic, as well as American Sign Language. For some of these languages, there are different dialects available. So if we click on a language such as Arabic, you can choose to learn Modern Standard Arabic, tra Transliterated Modern Standard Arabic, Egyptian Arabic, Iraqi Arabic, and more. And this also tells you what languages you can learn from and to. So if you are a native Turkish speaker, you can learn two different dialects of Arabic by clicking on which one you would prefer. There's also something called Kids Speak Online. So if we go to Italian and go to Italian for English speakers, you will see up here in the menu that there's Kids Speak. And these are games and animated videos that will help anyone learn more about the language. You can also click on Browse, and this will help you search to see which type of lesson you would like. So there's welcome lessons, alphabet courses, you can type in your search there if you want to learn numbers, anything like that, and it'll bring up the lesson that you would want to use to learn those things. You can also go to my transcript, which will be all the languages that you have done to date and which lessons you have participated in and may need to go back to. There's also different resources that have a word of the day and different blogs explaining more about the language. When you go back to learning, you can take different courses by clicking learn, or you can test yourself by taking assessments and you can click start there. They also give you an option to create your own personal goals with a prompt as well as on the side of the page here. And if you complete it, it'll tell you that you completed your goal. There's also language vocab that you have learned, and you can check and see which words you know and which ones you've practiced as well. There's also a practice section that includes listening, reading, speaking, and writing information. If you do go to a lesson, so let's go to Hello, Lesson 1. It'll tell you an explanation of what to expect by taking the lesson, and if you click Start Learning, It'll give you a tutorial on what was needed and where to find the different steps to complete the lesson. I hope you have fun exploring Transparent Language Online. If you have any questions, please contact the Scranton Public Library at 570-348-3000.